just filled up my tank in Lomira. 324 a gallon. They have a carousel out here. I'm gonna guess it probably doesn't work anymore. That looks very weathered. It might, I don't know. I, I, I doubt it, but uh, yeah, they have a little carousel here. And a brat shack too. 15 miles to the brat shack. Brat shack, yeah, yeah. We have just entered the uh, unincorporated town of Ashford. I got a garage. That doesn't look open anymore. I wonder if Simpson's here too, or is it just Ashford? Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. I got the Flying Eagle Cycle. Other than that, that's about it for Ashford. Oh, they got a John Deere dealership. And some kind of factory here. Uh, Tom's Quality Millwork. John Deere. Dodieville. Dodieville, Wisconsin. It is located in the town of Forest, Fond du Lac County. It was named after James Dwayne Doty. First person to represent Wisconsin's 3rd Congressional District after statehood and governor of the Utah Territory during the American Civil War. Now right here on Z, left is something I've filmed before and that's Warriors Haunted Asylum right there Warriors Haunted Asylum I did an episode on that boy I want to say 2020 but yeah really nice haunted attraction it's on County Road W in uh, Dodieville and look it up it's Warriors Haunted Asylum I was actually going to work here one year I came over and talked to Dan and was going to start working here for a year because I have uh, experience in haunted houses. I've worked in a couple. If you know where Dodieville is and you haven't been here, I suggest you check it out. They will be open in October, Friday and Saturday nights. I believe they do a blackout night too where all they give you is like a uh, glow stick or something like that. But this is Dodieville, folks. Uh, not much going on here. Um, doesn't uh, tell you, well, it's unincorporated, so it's not gonna tell you what uh, population is. I mean, there's there's nothing here, just some homes, the Warriors Haunted Asylum back there, and a bar. So there's two things in Dodieville, the Party Palace, <laughs> and The uh, Warriors Haunted Asylum, and that's about it. No notable people. So yeah, that's Dodieville. The long and winding road is not going to lead me to your door. Not this time. in Calumet County why am I in Calumet County you ask because I'm in the city of New Holstein uh, the population here as of uh, 2024 so this year 2891 it is named after the German douche <laughs> douche <laughs> duchy that's D-U-C-H-Y of Holstein, which for many early settlers migrated as of the 2010 census. The makeup, demographics wise, 96.4% white, 
0.2% African American, 0.5% Native American, 0.8% Asian, 1.5% from other races, 0.8% from two or more races, Hispanic or Latino, 3.2% of the population. And wow, we're out of town already. <laughs> the median age in the city is 44.7 years. The gender makeup of the city, 50% male, 50% female. So you got uh, half and half. Uh, yeah, this is uh, downtown here. Median income here, 43,180 for a household. For a family, 48,173. Males have a median income of 35,000. 952 and females 23,750. Population below the poverty line 2.2 of those under age 18 and 6.2 of those age 65 or older. Right there where it says hotel, yeah, it still says haunted pastime hotel. So there it is, the old Haunted Pastime Hotel. I did a video here back in 2020. Check it out in the, the uh, playlist if you'd like. Kind of neat. Notable people in New Holstein, there are some. Ken Kreider, or Critter, former National Football League player for the Denver Broncos. Otto Hackbarth, who was a professional golfer. Edward Schildhar, he was the chief engineer on the Panama Canal Project. Found that interesting. And Bob Schmitz, a former National Football League player. Schmitz played for the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Minnesota Vikings. So we got Collector's Cove Antique Mall and we got a truck blocking the street. Okay. So it's kind of an interesting little downtown area here. This is New Holstein. Kind of a cool, neat little area. There's the H.C. Tim House. Kind of cool. Kind of cool looking. And I don't think it's open today either. It is a museum for those who come to see them. They really aren't a scream. There's some nice little abandonment for you. Old barn falling apart. Another building there. Something here too. Ooh, I wonder if that was the old house, maybe. I don't know. Very cool. Look at this. Oh, this is separate. This is uh, this house actually looks like it's being lived in. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Falling apart, kind of. 